Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna show you how to connect two one-shot miners so they're both working together on your time and your dime. Without any further ado, let's get started, come. So as you can see here, we have active workers too. So we're gonna show you how to set up the two miners so it shows up that way forever, whether they're connected or not, piggybacking off the same power. As long as they're on the same Wi-Fi, you'll always have two workers. As you can see here, we have two different power options. Um, the older one-shot miner has a micro uh, USB connection, and the newer one-shot miner has the USB-C and a micro. To take uh, a micro connection and use it as the main power source for the one that has two USB connections, let me then plug it in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the USB-C connection from here, right? Plug it in there, all right? And now we have a um, micro connection on the other end of this red wire, which is going into there. And we're gonna take the micro connection and then put it into here. And it should boot up any second. See, voila. And now you have two one-shot miners connected. So you could have them in their case if you wanna put it like that. Uh, but let's let this one boot up. And wait for it and voila look at that they're loading and now you see we have two workers on the network uh, as you can see each one has their own IP address 192.168.1.180 and this one is 192.168.1.204 now when connecting from your browser as you can see here we're on 180 so if one of them is off and you don't see them make sure you're connected to the one that is powered on. Knowing that and moving forward, you can see we have two workers here. And on refresh, we'll just reload it. And wait for it, see, voila, we have two workers here. They don't have to be together. You can also um, disconnect the power. Let's say we can leave one plugged in here, right? And then the other one will have its own individual power source. Of course, it has to be a micro. And once that loads, we should still see them on the network too. And voila, kind of neat, huh? Each one connected to its own individual power source. Now you can put one there or there, and there's no need to piggyback the power. But if you put them all on one stand, ideally you want to set up with this connector. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Kind of neat, huh? Gotta love it. Hope this video helped you. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.